Hello and welcome to another Raggies beer review. So we're going over to Aldi today. Picked this up the other day, new in Aldi. Um, from Williams Brothers Brewing, Scottish Brewery, cracking brewery to be fair. Um, Mystic River, East Coast IPA, you know, a couple of quid. Uh, I can't remember the actual price to be honest, but uh, yeah, a couple of quid, you know, against what you'd pay in craft beer shops, six or seven quid. Um, we'll see what it's like, hey. Some idiot's got fireworks going off. It's December. It's middle of November now. I think it's December. It's because I'm putting my uh, Christmas decorations up. I'm, I'm in outdoor mode for Christmas decorations. So 5% Mystic River East Coast IPA. There we go. On the back. Yeah. Look, absolute stars. Yeah. Stars. Mystic River runs gold with haze for days. A combo of juicy ops are layered on a base of malt, wheat and oats, delivering a light grainy sweetness and an abundance of tropical fruits and citrus. I'm having this now because I don't have anything strong and I need to lay off the strong beers anyway, but um, because I've, I've still got lights to put up. So I put the Christmas lights up, I've, I've put the lights that hang, you know, and that. Oh, beautiful. Um, Fruity aroma on that. There we go. Looks a lovely pour, doesn't it? Let's get the old lot in the. There we go. So big old easy pour. Let's just read. Um, let me just remember fresh man. I remember where they are. Based, brewed brewed for Audi, of course. Uh, I am glad that Williams Brothers Brewing produced in Scotland yeah um, I've managed to keep their name on there so there we go quite a vibrant can to be fair so it's a hazy I won't say it's a thick hazy pour um, hazy orangey yellowy orange looking pour a couple of fingers of whitehead oh, that's probably my pouring lovely tropical nose on this got a mate Shane on the beer chat and I tell you what he's the is the best I don't know what he does when he when he takes photos of beer but every every beer he takes a photo of looks amazing I take a photo of a beer it looks crap it looks rubbish I need a little photo thing where I can put the beers in front and take a photo and uh, you know for social media not that I really care that much it's, it's all about the beer for me it's not about taking photos but you know for some people it's a big thing Smooth, tropical, juicy. Yeah, that's really nice, you know. Like I say, can't fault the price. We're in a cost of living crisis. Um, and obviously this is craft beer, it's not mod trad. So it's going to have more ingredients going in than a modern traditional beer will, most of the time at least. Ain't no taste of glucose in there, and I can t I don't know what it is with glucose, but I can really taste it. And I feel that brewer breweries are, are doing the doing not only do, doing their own brewery down by cheapskating, but they are ruining the world of beer by doing by going the cheapskate route i mean we only need to look around at the moment and this uh, and it's the big breweries that are doing it uh the where obviously there's more profit margins to be made for them good thing that you know some aren't good on williams brothers brewing for not you know it's, it's a nice beer um you know obviously they're going to brew it, they're going to brew it, it's going to be brewed on the cheap to get it in supermarkets, you know, you understand that, it's, a, it's not going to be a thick juice bomb of a beer, because it wouldn't sell for that price, you know, it's simple as that, but to get it down for that price, the price of doing, you know, is, is good on them, um, I dare say, they're not making a lot of it, um, but in some ways, contract brewing, it's, if they pay for so many, 
cans and it's all an automated process. I presume it would be at somewhere like Williams Brothers. Um, you know, then you can churn it out because a lot of the a lot of the stuff is done not by the old fashioned way of brewing, and 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 you know the volume can be you know something massive. Same with the canning, you know, all the automated systems you doing at home and making about a hundred liters if you could make hundred liters, you know. Light, easygoing, tropical, fruity. Five percent, not too heavy. Sometimes it's just, it's not about the ABV, and I know I'm one of the worst. <laughs> but sometimes it's just nice to have a nice, refreshing beer, and then crack on. Can't be drinking too much anyway, because uh, uh, for, for obvious reasons, there's, there's wires everywhere. If I start falling around over the wires, I'll look, one, I'll look, make myself look right, plonker. And uh, and more than likely, I've got to un undo a load of wires. Because uh, what always happens, every every flaming Christmas, that um, you forget, you don't put all the uh, bulbs, are, uh, not bulbs are missing, Plugs are missing. They've just been chucked in a bag, and I'm the one who does it. So I've got no one to blame but myself. It takes a day to put uh, an evening to put the night the, the outside lights up, and then next Sunday to put the inside lights up, which is multiple trees, um, usually multiple trees. Although we are going to have one on the back on the stairs this year. Um, uh, I'd like my son to have one. I'm definitely having one in the shed um, for their reviews. You know, it's festive, isn't it? In it, bro. And uh, I've even got me me my Christmas jumper ready for beer, my beer review Christmas jumper. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a little Christmas jumper as well. I ought to go and buy a different one. Um, So, very easy drinking. Um, easy drinking, easy going, tropical, um, nice and soft. Can't fault it. For the price, no, not at all. Can't fault it. Tastes okay. You know, I'm not expecting, uh, and I'm not paying for a £10 dipper. And hoping that it turns out to be good, you know. Um, I know the price I'm paying, and um, but yeah, fair play, you know, it's gonna sell a lot. New in at Aldi, and uh, cheers, Williams Brothers Brewing. Cracker from you. Um, I hope you're making some money off it as well. Uh, would I drink it again? Yeah, if I see it again, I'll drink it again. Doubtful, I probably will see it again, you know. Um, but I assume it's going to be an Asda for, uh, Audi, Audi for a long while. Um, at five, good 4.4 .4 out of five, you know, uh, for the price. The price, we you, you can't review a beer these days and not the price is a factor. Um, I don't care about, um, you know, there's a world of beer reviewers out there. Everyone's got their own thing. But it, I come from a working class background and you know it it's ex it, it, you know it, it's a hobby that's not the cheapest hobby in the world but I love what I do and I get some you know some amazing people sending me beers as well which is you know which um you know it's so humbling but um but yeah well worth trying and keep watching see you soon